Hey y'all, Joe here from Southern Coastal Cooking. Man, I, I got an idea last night. I was actually watching my buddy Russ from Smoky Ribs. He was doing a uh, chicken, I'm not chicken, I'm sorry, a shrimp pizza. He was actually taking the New Orleans barbecue style shrimp, which I've cooked before too, and putting them on a pizza. It looked fabulous. I'm gonna go check his channel out. But anyway, it got me thinking, you know, in the video, I think somebody mentioned in the comments or something, you know, the, the barbecue shrimp, you know, New Orleans style barbecue shrimp, basically shrimp cooks like beer, uh, paprika, rosemary, butter, um, a few other spices in there. And they're not really barbecue, you know, barbecue sauce, or really barbecue seasoning, so to speak, that goes into it. And I was kind of thinking, why couldn't you do that? Why couldn't you do barbecue? Barbecue shrimp. <laughs> this is what I guess what I can kind of call them. Barbecue barbecue shrimp. That's a good idea. Anyway, let me show you what I got here, y'all. I've got lovely bunch of fresh Mississippi Gulf Coast shrimp right here, de-headed, and I took the shells off except for the last little tail, and I've got them on a little cookie cooling rack on a sheet here. First off, I want to hit them with just a little bit of olive oil, and what this will do, this will just kind of uh, help them. Uh, as they cook, and it's also gonna help. I'm gonna put a rub on them, y'all. A real barbecue rub here. You know, actually, I probably could have tossed these around a little bowl with this oil first before I put them on here. It would have been a better idea. But anyway, this will work good enough. It's a little bit of oil here and there. Now I'm gonna take this up. Uh, before I do that, I got a little Bezels, a little Cajun seasoning stuff that I use. I'm gonna hit these bad boys up with a little bit of that. All right, just a little, little bezel stuff. I mean, that's just good on shrimp. I mean, any kind of chicken, whatever. I love this stuff. Then we'll hit them a little bezel. Then I'm going to use this Mountain Reeds Barbecue Rub Killer Hogs, okay? I got this stuff the other night, used it on some, um, some pork I did. Fantastic. Had great results. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to just sprinkle these shrimp lightly. I'm not going to put a huge, huge coating on them. I just want to get a nice little sprinkle on each shrimp. And then when we flip them over, y'all, we'll do the other side just the same as this. Get this first side done now. Tedious task of just going over and flipping over every shrimp. We'll do the other side. So now I'm just getting the other side. Like I said, just the dusting of this Malcolm Reeds or this Killer Hogs uh, rub here and this stuff is great on pork y'all it was fantastic i'm sure it'll be great on the seafood and man oh man look at that it's going to add some great color to these shrimp as well but that's what we're going to do we're going to put this on here i put a little bit of this uh a little bit more olive oil on this side just to get them just to make sure oh, i'm gonna rub there y'all i have to get some more of that a little more of the bezels on this side, just like that. That's good, just like that. Now I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator, get them real nice and cool. So and then we're out here at the Yoder. I got it cranked up. I'm using some lumberjack, 100% beach pellets. Beach is, is a, it's a, it's gonna give a lighter smoke. I don't want too much smoke imparting these shrimp. And I think it's gonna be light. It's gonna be a really good smoke for the seafood. So we're gonna stick with 100% beach lumberjack for this cook. All right, y'all, while the grill's heating up, I'm going to show you something else we're going to do here. I got the shrimp laid out. I got a few pats of butter laid on top. And that's going to be for later because we're going to develop a sauce underneath here. I'm going to raise this thing up here. I'm going to throw a couple sprigs of rosemary, get some fresh rosemary. Throw that underneath there. Like I said, all this is going to come into play later. I've got a glass of white wine here. I'm going to pour this white wine in here. Let that go right there into the pan. Now all that's going to develop into something wonderful here in a bit. So now we're going to go ahead and open this up. Put this bad boy on here. There we go. Just like that, y'all. Gorgeous. Let this sucker go. I'm going to come back and check it in about 15 minutes. Sure it's been about 15 minutes. We'll go ahead and check on them. All right, doing good. Main thing you want to check, so we'll make sure not turning opaque. They're looking good. I'm gonna give them about another 15 minutes. So I'll tell you what I want to do. Now I'm just kind of winging this this recipe here, going by things I think would be really good. I've got some of this um, some of this Killer Holds barbecue sauce here, and I put a little bit, about a tablespoon of butter. 
in with about a cup of the barbecue sauce heated up in the microwave. What I want to do here, y'all, I want to base this on the shrimp here. Oh yeah, I think this will this will make real good. So I'm gonna zoom you in here just a little bit. I'm gonna try to base some of these shrimp here and just get a little glaze of this barbecue on them. I think this will be fantastic, y'all. Because this is gonna add some peak of that, just kind of that sweet barbecue flavor on the shrimp. It's kind of stuff that we're looking for. You know, the the real authentic, you know. I'm gonna say authentic because never really heard of barbecue shrimp this way with real barbecue stuff, but this this is what's gonna give them that real barbecue taste as well and kind of help them from drying out or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and like I said, I'm gonna base down these shrimp. I think these will look real good, y'all. Y'all, so these been these have been steaming for about let's see how long. Almost 30 minutes now. Had my controller set at about 250. So one thing I want to think about here is the point that they're in that pan with the wine and stuff like that. It's probably blocking some of the heat. So what I did is I took my old live grill too and I just stuck it in there. Uh, and it's saying it's 142. What's going on here? How did that? Okay. It's saying it's 142 right there on the pan grate. So that means I'm probably not getting enough heat to cook anything. Um, I'm gonna turn my, my deal up on my controller here to about 285, okay? And I won't go ahead and check them anyway. And see, they're still, uh, oh, this thing was sticking down here in the liquid. I'm sorry, y'all, so let's see. Maybe I don't need to turn it up. Let's just see what kind of temperature we're looking at here. Check it again. It's at 137, 135. We'll check it again in about three minutes. All right, y'all. So I, we let them smoke for about 30 minutes. When the the great temperature, I mean the temperature right there on top of that cookie sheet with the wine in it and everything was about 150 or so, 155. Now I cranked the heat up. Uh, it was probably maybe a little lower than that, maybe about 135 or so. I cranked the heat up now to about. 300 on my firebox over here. Um, the heat's about 160 on the little grate where they're sitting and they're starting to firm up. Let me zoom you in here real quick because I don't want to open it for long and show you what we're talking about. I mean, I'm checking these shrimp, you know, about every five or so minutes now because we're at that point because you don't want to overcook. But if you can see, hopefully, they're just starting to kind of get firm right there. That's what we're looking for. So um, we'll be done any second now, I would think. Um, really don't want to overcook these things. So about five more minutes has passed. I want to go ahead and get these inside. I don't want to take any chances of these overcooking and ruining these beautiful Gulf shrimp. Look at this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Those look gorgeous. I'm telling you what. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all stay with me. Here's what I got. I poured the juice out of the bottom of that pan. Remember, we had the, the wine, the butter, we had the rosemary in there. I got that simmering on the stove top. I got the shrimp sitting over here. I'm about to put them back on the pan, cookie sheet. I've got my broiler on over here in the oven. I'm gonna put them under the broiler just for a minute just to get us a little bit of crispiness. But first, before we do that, I think that's gonna do last. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make the sauce. Finish it off. Y'all, right, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the barbecue sauce. Remember, I'm using this killer hogs here. Add about a half a cup. All right, it's gonna be real good right there. Go ahead and stir that in. Then, I'm just gonna let that simmer. While that's simmering, we're gonna go ahead and get our cookie pan back, or whatever you wanna call this, baking pan. Put the shrimp back on here. Like that. And we'll put these under the broiler just for a minute while we finish this sauce. All right, these are going down under the broiler. I don't want to leave them long, just for a minute. Now I've got three pats of cold butter. And we're just going to stir this into this sauce. And it's just going to be, we're just going to finish it right here, y'all. But on medium heat. Just let this butter go in here. 
and just really just finish off this wonderful sauce. I'm checking these shrimp. I'm talking about every second a minute or so, giving them a check, making sure they're not going to burn. As soon as this butter melts right here, and I'm pretty much doing this real time, I'm going to go ahead and pull all this stuff, y'all. I'm going to turn my heat off, let this butter just melt in there, just keep that stirring. Checking the shrimp again, y'all. Just waiting just for a slight little bit of bubbling up there. Just getting that little bit of crust of that barbecue on top of there. And we're just stirring this. Alright, let that go. Check the shrimp one more time. And let me show you what the shrimp are doing. That just are starting to sizzle. They're ready. We're pulling them out. What we'll do now, I'm going to put this sauce. Put this, we have the barbecue sauce right down there in the middle. And we'll take some of this sauce. Butter, wine, sauce, barbecue. Of course, some of that right there in the middle, y'all. Be wonderful. Oh, yes, sir. Get okay, right down in there. Then we'll take these shrimp. We'll place these shrimp around this right here on the plate. Just like that. It's going to be gorgeous. Oh, it's going to be so good, y'all. Let me go ahead and get this done. All right, y'all, now they're all is left to do. So let's just taste one. Dip them right there in that sauce. Oh man, I know this is going to be good. Man. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Hands down, amazing. Uh, you have got to try. Mm, mm, mm. Barbecued. Barbecued shrimp. The real deal, y'all. You saw it first here on Southern Coastal Cooking, y'all. Please. Man, this is awesome, awesome, awesome. Y'all really got to try this. Look, I'll put a link in the description box. Let me get that rub I used from Malcolm. Man, oh man, this is awesome. Real Southern Coastal Cooking here, y'all. Thanks a lot, y'all. Please like my video so much, channel. God bless. Thank y'all. Man, y'all, though, sure we're good. Let's just kind of do a wrap up of the instructions there for the barbecue shrimp. You know, start them out low and slow. Remember, on the, on the baking pan with the red wine, I mean the red wine, the white wine poured in there and a few pats of butter and start out with my uh, grill set to 225 which obviously wasn't that hot above the baking pan because the wine keeping it cool and all that kind of stuff so let that go for 15 minutes then checked it and uh, then let it go for another 15 minutes uh, at that point um, I went ahead and cranked the heat up to about 300 um, put the little temp probe in there and checked it about every five or you know I would say check it about every five minutes after that until you see the shrimp start to farm up you can tell start turning opaque farming up and then they're ready to pull out now I did want to stick mine under the broiler just for a second while I was finishing that sauce off just I love the way a broiler does with uh, when, when you got something that's got a rub on or a barbecue sauce switch a barbecue sauce how it just kind of boils that barbecue sauce and caramelizes the top uh, really quick. So basically uh, what I did, I guess you would say, this is almost like a reverse sear cook. We start out real slow, then we finish it up real hot and fast. Uh, they're right under the broiler, but that really wasn't any cooking. That was just uh, just to get that barbecue sauce, get a nice little crust on top. But y'all, those are sure, sure good. I hope you try it.